Congratulations today. It's an amazing day to represent the females in country music. Can you talk about that importance today? I think it's very important. I look around in here and there's about uh, 10 men to one woman. And uh, I, don't, I'm, I don't resent it, but I, I, it makes me feel kind of odd. <laughs> but anyway, there's uh, more room for more. There's room for more women in here, I think. And there's a lot of girls out there that deserve it, like Jan Howard and Jeannie Seeley and Connie Smith. These are wonderful ladies, and they deserve it. Yeah, and talk about your years at the Opry. How has that felt to kind of be here now and to have this finale, if you will? I've been at the Grand Ole Opry for 55 years, even longer than little Jimmy Dickens. <laughs> wow. Because uh, he was gone for about 17 or 18 years, but uh, I'm, my uh, run has been continuous for the Opry. And I still love the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah, definitely. And all the renovations that took place afterwards, were you really surprised after that? I really was. It's beautiful out there. Gosh, goodness. It's, uh, of course, I love the old place. The old place had a special place in my heart. Definitely. Yeah, and talk about Reba as well getting inducted today, and she's not here, which is unfortunate. Can you talk about just seeing the people coming up in country music and following your footsteps? What kind of advice would you give to the younger artists? If you're a real young artist and still in school, I'd say get an education before anything because you can always fall back on that education, and there's no ifs, ands, or buts in this business.